Hello everybody, this is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, listen, do you remember the Bible verse where they talks about the lion laying down with the lamb? But then when you look up the verse, it, it says the wolf will lay down with the lamb. So what happened? Did Satan go back in time and changed the lion to a wolf? Well, there's people that claim this, and they call this the Mandela Effect. And if you take a look at the black guy with his fist raised up in the air, that is Nelson Mandela. I suppose that's who they named it for. And uh, he was a member of the African National Congress. It is a communist group. He was a terrorist and criminal murderer and tried to uh, do some bombings. Wonderful guy. Uh, I'm being sarcastic, of course. And the guy next to him is named uh, Slovo. He's an Eastern European member of the tribe, if you catch my drift, since they're the ones that love communism. And uh, they're the ones, uh, the African National Congress, uh, they're the ones that are killing all the white farmers in South Africa. Well, we'll see how that works out. But it's funny they named it after him. Now, here's the thing. There has been a number of movies, and I'm going to show some pictures of some of the older ones and new ones in the slideshow, Movies like uh, Time Bandits, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, um, The Time Tunnel ran in the 60s. If you remember that, you're old. I do. Um, the Terminator movie. And then there's, what, 12 Monkeys or 13 Monkeys? Uh, i never seen it, but I heard that's another one. Uh, but there's been, you know, a bunch of movies saying, you know, with the theme is they go back in time or they go in the future or whatever. Uh, Star Trek, you know, whatever. But the thing is, I don't know if they've been planning this for a long time or if it's just uh, something they just recently came together. But the premise is they say that, oh, I don't know, Satan or somebody went back in time and changed the Bible. Because everybody remembers where the lion laid down with the lamb. Well, guess what? They do remember that. But the thing is, it's not what you think. Uh, <laughs> actually, it was a song. It was an Elvis Presley song. Now, if you don't know who Elvis Presley is, you must be uh, young. But Elvis Presley was one of the most popular solo artists sold millions and millions of albums and uh, turns out according to the family he had a grandmother that was an in uh, native american indian so he sang um, peace in the valley on what was the ed sullivan show we're, tonight we're going to have a really big shoe. That was Ed Sullivan. Uh, Ed's, uh, Elvis was uh, contemporaries with the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. Very popular. So let's take a look at the um, Peace in the Valley's lyrics. Now Johnny Cash always did all, all, also did these lyrics. Here's the lyrics. Oh, well, I'm tired and so weary. And no, I'm not going to sing these because I don't want to torture your ears. Oh, well, I'm tired and so weary, but I must go alone till the Lord comes and calls, calls me away. Oh, yes. Well, the morning's so bright and the lamp is alight and the night, night is as black as the sea. Oh, yes. There will be peace in the valley for me someday. There will be peace in the valley for me, O oh Lord, I pray, there'll be no sadness, no sorrow, no trouble, 
Trouble I see. There will be peace in the valley for me. For me. Well, the bear will be gentle and the wolves will be tame and the lion shall lay down with the lamb. Oh, yes. Did you catch that? And the lion shall lay down with the lamb. Oh, yes. And the beast from the wild shall be lit by a child and I'll be changed. That's where everybody remembers the lion with the lamb. Now, the thing is, a lot of uh, preachers started uh, using lion with the lamb in their sermons. They weren't reading from the Bible. What does the Bible say? In 11, Isaiah 11, 6, it says, The wolf, the wolf, not the lion, the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf, and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall leave them. Now, God promised to preserve his words. And if things were changed, then he failed. And I don't think God fails. All right. The thing is, if Satan really did corrupt the word of God, there wouldn't be so many different Bible versions. There'd be no need for it. There would just be one because it's corrupted. But think about the theological implications of that. If Satan really did change and corrupt the Bible, then he's more powerful than God, right? So, you know, so if you remember a pastor using a uh, the lion with the lamb thing instead of the wolf, he was uh, ad-libbing it. He wasn't reading from the Bible. Now, um, then before Elvis sang that, there was a, uh, the song was uh, from 1937, The Peace in the Valley, and it was by Thomas Dorsey, 1937. So, but you know what? Uh, there was a guy named Red Foley and the Sunshine Boys in 1951 that did this, and then recorded by Sam Cooke of the Soul Sinners in 1950, and, uh, you know, this song goes back for a while. So there's nothing, you know, don't fall for this Mandela effect. The Bible was not changed. Satan didn't go back in time and change the Bible. You know, so what can I tell you? But people do remember lion laying down with the lamb. But it was Elvis Presley, not the Bible. So don't fall for this stuff, people. And oh yeah, don't forget, Doctor Who is another one that um, uh, talks, you know, time travel. He's a time lord. Uh, very popular on BBC. Matter of fact, uh, Doctor Who's been running shows since the 60s. Now, I never saw it until the 70s, but uh, you know, it's been on for a long time. So, all right, just, you know, keep in mind that, um, you know, God preserved his word in the King James Bible, my opinion. And I'm not King James only because I also like the Webster's Bible. Yeah, the dictionary guy, he was a Bible believer, and he could read, write, and converse in the Bible languages of Greek and Hebrew. And I also like the Geneva Bible, uh, the translation, not so much the notes, but so I'm not King James only. All right, well, uh, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.